Hello, I'm Mike Jones. I'm the leader of your new council, Cheshire West and Chester. This council is replacing the four existing councils and in doing so we are not looking to recreate any of the existing councils in the way they do things. We are looking on building on best practice and creating a new council with a new culture and a new way of doing things. Something that's fresh, lively, innovative and creative and exciting. Something that the members can be proud of and you as residents can be proud of being associated with. We are looking at how our members can integrate themselves and become involved, fully involved, in your communities to work with and support you in living and improving your quality of life. We want our members to be champions within their communities and in doing so you'll see following on from this uh, short interviews with your ward councillors so that you can recognise who they are. They're making commitments and promises to be more involved in your community and to assist you and your community groups in delivering those improvements within your communities. I'm Malcolm Gaskill. I'm currently the Mayor of Vale Royal. I'm a Vale Royal Councillor for the Liberal Democrats. Uh, I've been a councillor on Vale Royal for 10 years. I'm also a Winsford Town Councillor and I've obviously been elected to the uh, new authority, uh, Cheshire West and Chester, which we take over on the 1st of April. And my name is Charlie Parkinson. I'm also a councillor for Winsford South and West. I was elected two years ago to the Vale Royal Borough Council and I'm also fortunate enough to be elected to the Cheshire West Authority. I'm Bob Barton, I'm councillor for Winsford South and West since last May as a shadow member. We've all been elected to uh, the Winsford South and West Division um, and we all live on the ward, so we're all local councillors, very much so. Uh, I've represented the Swanlow Ward, which is part of Winter South and West for 10 years. Charlie, in the middle here, has represented the Over Ward, uh, which is also part of the Winsford South and West Division for the last two and a half years, three years. And Bob, of course, has lived on the Swanlow Ward for nearly 30 years, so we're all very much homegrown local councillors on the patch that we now represent. Yeah, well, I've, I've lived there myself for over 40 years, and uh, certainly Winsford has come and gone. Uh, we now have Winning Winsford, which is a regeneration programme of, of the whole of Winsford, uh, particularly down by the, the riverside, uh, where we're hopeful that we, in the not-too-distant future we are going to have quite a significant development down there, uh, especially there's talk of a 60-bedroom hotel, we have a mixture of residential and hopefully some nice leisure facilities because it's one of the most underused uh, beauty spots in the whole of Cheshire, of the Flashes. We are in the middle of regeneration of the town centre. Uh, there are some major plans for there which actually are, are in planning as we speak. Uh, they're waiting for approval to do some de demolition and obviously we're going to renew them with uh, hopefully some better shops facilities for the people of Winsford, uh, which is a long time coming, but I think we're as close now as we've ever been in my 40 years in Winsford. But what, what is going to happen is the, the learning centre down at the bottom of the, um, um, by the Weaver. That's going to be up in two years, and that's going to be a positive for young people in Winsford. Um, and if the new All Through School goes ahead as well, which um, we're expecting and hoping and praying for, I think that will benefit as well. Um, the integration, if you like, of young people from the um, west and the east side of Winsford. And in all this, you must not not forget that, you know, there's a generation that came here in the 60s and now an older generation, you know, and the facilities for the elderly, uh, you know, leave a lot to be desired. There's certainly around where I live, the Swallow area, the transport system is appalling. A lot of them have now given up their cars because they're too old. They can't get into these super facilities like the new lifestyle centre that's going up in Winsford, they can't physically get down there and get back again unless they jump in and out of taxis all day long. So, you know, consideration <coughs> needs to be given to those people. Then people came here and built the new Winsford, the ex-banks managers, the ex-headmasters, the ex-school teachers, uh, shop owners and shop and people who came and invested a business here. You know, and they're now the ageing population and it's growing and, you know, you need to take account of that. Following on from that, what you've got is a centralisation of all the services into the middle of Winsford. I mean, the medical centres are a prime example. I mean, you've got two at the moment, health centres, <coughs> medical centre. We have a third where the civic is now. So 
I mean, as Malcolm was saying, so transport is going to be a key fundamental issue for people in suburbia um, Winsford. There's a lot of things that need to be addressed in Winsford and are actually being done so. Uh, we have opened a community house on the Greenfields Park Estate, uh, which is getting very positive uh, reports, uh, which is staffed uh, most days of the week, but certain hours during the day, where, they can, where the people can actually receive free advice from citizens of Vice Bureau, uh, other organisations. There's three of us here who are dedicated to working as a team in Winsford, but I think the local members' um, population have to realise that's less than the normal amount of councillors. So our workload is going to be much heavier than um, has been in the past. But I think we are dedicated and we realise we need to be more proactive in the community. And I think we, we're, we're, as a team we're going to do that. And you will see us out on the streets and you will see us about, and you will see us at meetings, you will see us at community action groups and so on. You will see us there. We are very keen to support the new authority uh, and obviously we also want to support the people of Winsford and I can assure you that working as a team in Winsford that we do a good job already and we will continue to do that for as long as we are councillors. We are a team, a very proactive team, uh, we're known for our pavement politics and getting out and about, getting our focus leaflets through people's doors so that they know what's going on, we keep people informed all year round, not just at election time. And if you want to get in touch with us, our addresses and phone numbers are on our focus leaflets, they're on the website, uh, and I'm sure we're in the phone book as well.